Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We are two days out now from Christmas, so let's get to the Christmas forecast. Yeah, straight off the bat here. Uh, the clouds that we saw today, they're kind of going to be sticking around for Christmas, so maybe a little bit of sun. Uh, but also, we're going to introduce a chance for snow. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's a bad chance for snow. It looks like a pretty good bet, maybe a guarantee, that somewhere in North Dakota we'll see some snow. And uh, we'll give any one particular spot about a 40% chance to see some snow. Uh, and the best chance will be late Christmas night. So how about that? All right, 25 degrees was our official high here in Bismarck today. That is one degree above average. Look at our low, 21 degrees is what we started out this morning. So with all that cloud cover out there, temperatures didn't go uh, very far. Only climbed four degrees through the day. Here's a live look in Williston right now, and uh, we saw a little bit of blue sky earlier. Some thinner upper-level clouds for you. Temperature at 23 degrees right now with a light wind out of the south-southeast at six miles per hour. So there is a bit of a wind chill factor. Oh, there it goes. You can see the winds just calmed down. So, of course, that wind chill factor uh, goes down. Temperatures coldest to the northeast there. Rugby just barely holding on to the double digits at 10 degrees right now. Bismarck at 20. It's 18 in Minot. Back to the west, a little warmer. Sydney and Beach are both holding on the 30 degrees at this time. And here are the winds. You can see generally pretty light, anywhere from about, well, calm winds to about 10 miles per hour. So uh, looking at, again, another pretty quiet day, relatively speaking, here across our area. The wind chills. It feels like two below right now there in rugby. It feels like one below in the Turtle Mountains, but again, you go back towards the west, and the actual temperatures uh, are are warm enough that you're not dealing with much of a wind chill. In fact, it feels just like 30 degrees out the door right now in beach. So satellite radar, again, quiet, no precipitation. It's been a little while now since we've had some precipitation. That's going to change here. Looking at the big picture, you can see much more active weather back towards the southwest. Places that don't see a lot of rain are getting it right now. Los Angeles, Vegas, down towards Phoenix, getting some rain. You can see even a little snow there in southwest Utah. So active weather here, and I'll overlay the jet stream, and you can see why. Well, the darker shades of red here are where the stronger winds are in the jet stream. That's usually where you'll find your active weather. You also see this big trough across the uh, desert southwest. As we go over the next 24 hours or so, that energy from that trough is going to start to move our way. And at the surface, you might begin to see an area of low pressure. That low pressure by Christmas night may bring in a little bit of light snow to our area. So what are we talking about in terms of a Accumulations, not a heck of a lot, maybe a couple inches across the southeastern half of our viewing area. So your three-day forecast, temperatures will be close to seasonal averages out west there in Dickinson. A chance for some light snow on Wednesday. Chance for light snow in Williston as well, though a little less likely up towards the northwest. Again, temperatures close to seasonal averages for you. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the lower teens and low 20s. Temperatures will actually remain fairly steady overnight here with that cloud cover. And they're not going to climb much tomorrow either with that cloud cover. Highs only in the 20s and 30s. So your seven-day forecast, we're going to be looking at uh, a little up and down, a little variance here. But again, temperatures do uh, kind of remain around those seasonal averages. A little bit of a chance there for snow on Christmas. Best chances for snow on Christmas right now, thinking closer to the south and east. Light accumulations and then a return to sunny, calm weather by the end of the week. How about that? <laughs> Not bad. Not a bad winter so far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, the Minot High School.